Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. In this video I will show you how to fit a THEP radiator guard to my Honda CRF 300 Rally. Uh, I actually recorded this video at the same time as I looked at the Flatland Racing radiator guard and only one of them remained on my bike afterwards. Uh, this will be a really short video. If you want to see all the bodywork removal and everything else that goes with it, please check out my Kodama Composites side protection video because that went on for absolutely ages and covered a lot of the stuff that I'm doing here. Anyway, uh, this will be a really short video. I'll put it out on a Wednesday. Here we go. I'll just give you a close-up look on this Thep guard. So it's pretty thin aluminium. I'm guessing that's one millimetre, two tops. Um, side by side with the stock one, you can see it fits in exactly the same way, except it's just got these two slightly crude tabs instead of the, the plastic pins on that side. Uh, on this side, it's essentially got a, a, a hole where the, the bracket that that fits through goes on. And then there's a cutout here, which matches up with the slot in here on the bike. Um, not a lot else to say, really. Uh, I will put a quick weighing clip in, so look away now. Uh, you might have seen this before because it's the same one where I was comparing it with the Flatland Racing, but I don't really see the need to record it twice. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to weigh all three of them and I'm going to use this little bit of video in both the Thep video and the Flatland Racing one. So if you don't like seeing things weighed, please skip on to the next bit now. First of all, so we've got a comparison. This is the weight of the stock radiator cover on the CRF 300 Rally. Can get all of that on the scale somehow. There we go, uh, 126 grams. So yes, yeah, piece of plastic, weighs next to nothing. Uh, the Thep Guard, 164 grams. So a little bit heavier, but again, almost nothing. And I'm expecting this is going to be a lot. Here we go. Yeah, 622 grams, if I can read that right upside down. Uh, so yeah, that is significantly heavier than stock. But bear in mind, while I'm replacing this, what it's really replacing is the five kilo crash bars that I had on the bike. And this one is, I think, the only one that if it had a sideways impact, it's actually going to protect the radiator. So yes, it is adding more weight than the stock guard, but there's a reason for that and it gives the bike extra protection. Right then, now I'm going to fit this uh, Thep guard to the bike so you can see how it looks. So this is the stock radiator guard that comes on the bike and it's, uh, it's made of plastic. It gives some protection, I guess from stones and things. Uh, to swap it out for the Thep one, well, it uh, essentially fits in pretty much the same way, except this one has a little plastic button there, it has a tab there, and then has the two holes on that side. So if I just take that off, there we go, and that just pulls out like that, simple as that. To put the Thep one on, it's got these two tabs on this side, which essentially go into those same two holes in there. I can get that in. So this top one isn't quite lining up. Um, and actually it does need to, because this needs to go up a little bit. Let's see if I can do it the other way around, like that maybe. So yeah, it's not, not the best fit. It's almost like those, uh, the bits on that end just need a little bit more taking off the, the edge. But can I get it on? I'm close. That's probably almost enough. So the only other thing I need to do actually is just to remove the bolt on here, because that needs to bolt through. Uh, to, to get that in place. I'm just going to take that off. What I might do actually is just file down a little bit on the corners here and here just to make that fit. So I don't know if you can see, I've just taken a very little bit off the edge of there and now when I push it in, it does go in, fits in the holes appropriately. Last thing to do is just take this bolt out there so I can actually fit it. So, so to fit it, just pop that in there. The two holes go in there. This bit comes down over the top. Hmm, that also doesn't fit particularly well. Ah, you know what? I can tell you why that is. Uh, this one is actually the uh, one for the CRF300L, not the one for the CRF300 Rally. Remember now seeing that on the packet. And on the L, you don't have this clip for the bodywork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly take that off completely so that then you can see what it's like uh, on the L. I'll start again. This is how you fit the FEP radiator guard to the CRF300L. So I know this is on my rally, uh, but essentially it's pretty much the same, except that the bolt just goes through and secures that on there like that. Um, yeah, you don't have the, the other hole in use because that's only for the rally bodywork. 
So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I clearly should have bought the right one. Um, I'll be honest, I only really got this for a comparison with the Flatland Racing. I'm not gonna leave this one on my bike. Uh, however, hopefully it's been interesting to someone if you were thinking of getting one of these just as a replacement or just to add a little bit more protection to your bike, maybe this has been of some use. That's it, that's my very short Wednesday video looking at the FEP radiator guard for the Honda CRF 300L. I know I tried to fit it to my Honda CRF 300 rally, but that's all I've got to show and I did order it in error. Anyway, I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, maybe I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.